Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about capacity reservations. So capacity reservations simply uh, make sure that you have the required capacity for running your instance. So we're going to show it in this way. And what that means is that you don't actually have to launch the instance itself. You're just making a reservation of capacity. So that capacity is guaranteed and you will be paying for it regardless of whether you launch an instance that uses that capacity or not. And then when you do launch an instance that matches uh, the family type that you specified in the capacity reservation, the tenancy type, um, and um, some other features, then it will take on that capacity. Now, in terms of the types of purchase options, uh, capacity reservations cannot be applied to spot instances simply because of the nature of spot instances. Um, also, reserve ins instances at availability zone of the availability zone type, they already have capacity reservation included as we discussed. So really capacity reservation applies to these three, regional, reserve instances, savings plan, and on demand. And here's a quick overview. So uh, capacity reservation has to be done in a specific availability zone. You pay for the capacity regardless if the instance is running or not. Uh, the capacity will be used by instances that match the capacity reservation attributes, um, the instance type, the tenancy, and the platform or operating system. Uh, there are no minimum terms and you can cancel at any time. And uh, important, also keep in mind this for, uh, this for the exam, there's no separate billing uh, discount for capacity reservations. In order to get a discount, you need to combine your capacity reservation with regional or savings plan. So if you use capacity res reservation with on demand, you'll effectively just be paying the on demand price for that capacity, whether you have an EC2 instance running or not, there's no uh, discounts for that. And uh, the use cases, well, whenever you need to ensure there's access to EC2 capacity, no matter what, no matter how busy the Amazon servers, if you need that um, to ensure that access, then you should be using capacity reservations. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, enjoy the cloud.